Full count. Strike three call right down. Down the middle, base hit left side. Ball will stop at second. Breaking ball, line back up the middle, down for a base hit. Hall will score, Domino comes around, he will score. A two out, two RBI single for Ray Sandroni. Full count pitch, swing and a miss, and he struck him out and rolling. This is shot right back up the box and through for a base hit. This one hammered into left field. It's over the head of the left fielder. Sedell's going to score. Bedlin's going to stop at third. It's an RBI double for Brent Coker, and it's four to three. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and Jackson Lancaster. And it'll be Brent Coker, the shortstop, who will step in. And he's 3.79 to start the day. And he fly ball, deep left field. If it's fair, it's gone. It's a two run shot and the Indians walk it off. Brent Coker with a two run shot to left field, touches home plate and the Indians win it five to four in dramatic fashion. Coker's first home run of the season comes at the perfect time, and the Indians have swept the Hines Eagles. All right, Brett, fresh off that big hit, man. Tell me what you saw on that pitch. Uh, he threw me a low inside fastball, and actually before I went to bat, I told one of my buddies, Alan, I said, I'm about to get a walk off. If there's a runner on second and third, and there was a runner on third, he just threw me the pitch I wanted to hit, and took him yard, I guess. All right, when did you know it was gone? Right off the bat. Well, I thought it was going to be foul at first, and yeah. it wasn't foul. So I was waiting for the whole uh, the umpire to uh, do this, and I started sprinting around the bases. Well, I was out in the outfield where your dad was, and your dad, I'm not a, I'm not a little dude, but your dad was so excited, he started jumping up and down with me. Uh, just talk about this moment, man. How does it feel to be able to step up for you boys? Uh, it's so surreal. I mean, that was a big old win we needed. Uh, we're still two games up. If we would have lost that one, we would have been one game up, and uh, that was just a really big win for us. All right, Rick, those type of ball games make you feel like you're 20 again, man. Just talk about that last at bat and Brett Coker. Well, I never did give up on these guys, man. They find ways to win, and they pass the torch to the next guy. And Brett had told somebody, I'm about to walk this thing off, and sure enough, he did. He walked it off, and it stayed fair. It was two feet inside that foul pole, and uh, just an awesome feeling to watch these kids jump around, and, and just that feeling myself. I was acting like a kid then, and I love that stuff. Uh, keeps you young, and then, man, this is such a great group of young men. Uh, gonna hate to lose a lot of them, but uh, y'all, they doing their job this year, and man, they just fun to be around. Rick, talk about that never die attitude. Two tough games against a very good Heinz team today. Guys never never gave up. Yeah, they, they come in knowing it's gonna be a war. Anybody in this league can beat you. I mean, this league is so tough. And they come in and know it and, and just uh, kept it. I can hear them in the dugout. Hey man, pass the torch, hit the pitches. Come on, let's go, somebody pass it. And they just don't give up. They're, they're a fun group and uh, man, they're just, just great to be around. Rick, congratulations on the sweep of Hines, and I'm uh, going to get loaded up, get ready to do again Tuesday. Yes, sir. We're ready to go again. Yeah.